Prince William was met with a public backlash when he refused to travel to Australia to support the Lionesses in the World Cup final. Prince William faced a public backlash after refusing a trip to Australia to support England women in the World Cup final. A Daily Express online readers poll asked if the Prince of Wales should attend Sunday's showdown with Spain. Some 57% said yes and 40% no with 3% undecided. William is president of the Football Association and presented the victorious Lionesses with the trophy at last summer's Euros, so is the obvious choice to represent England in Sydney. But Buckingham Palace confirmed yesterday that no members of the royal family will be attending the game. In contrast, Spain's Queen Letizia and her younger daughter, Sophia, 16, are flying to Australia to cheer on their own national side. Palace officials declined to say if King Charles had been invited to attend by the governments of co-hosts Australia and New Zealand, both led by prime ministers who want their countries to become republics. Royal watchers have been surprised that in the first year of his reign the 74-year-old monarch has not visited a single one of the 14 overseas countries. Where he is also head of state, in February, however, James Johnson, the chief executive of Football Australia, urged the king to go to the Women's World Cup, he said, it would be fantastic. It would make a World Cup even more special. The heir to the throne has been on an extended summer holiday with his family since attending the Wimbledon men's tennis final as his last official engagement on July 16, and argued that it did not make sense to fly across the world for a very short period of time. He and the king both sent congratulatory messages to the England team after their 3-1 semi-final win over Australia on Wednesday and, seeking to maintain a balanced approach as representatives of the Australian monarchy, gave fulsome praise to the Matildas. Royal commentator Richard Fitzwilliam said, I think this is an opportunity missed. There really ought to be someone there, from the royal family. He added, nothing like this has happened since 1966, when England men lifted the World Cup. This is something that the whole nation will come together over. Prince William is the obvious choice as the president of the Football Association and it would be wonderful if the Princess of Wales could go too. The Waleses are the world's most glamorous royal couple. It's a long way to go, but it's a long way to go for an important reason. On Australia's largest digital network for women, Nine Honey, commentator Natalie Oliveri wrote, if true. Prince William's absence will be seen as a huge snub not only to his national team, but the many Australian royal fans who've been waiting on a visit from the heir to the throne for at least three years. In fact, William has not visited Australia since 2014. There were reports that he and Kate were planning a trip in 2020, but it had to be scrapped because of the pandemic. The prince, 41, did not travel to Qatar to watch England men's team in last year's World Cup. But before Gareth Southgate's side went out in the quarterfinals, sources close to William made it clear he would find a way to travel to the Middle East if they got through to the final. His decision not to go to Australia risks opening up accusations of sexism. The Lionesses' achievements have been hailed as a huge advance for women in general in this country. Paul Jeter, a Green Party activist in Ingatestone, Essex, noted that William and Rishi Sunak had both declined to attend the final, leaving it to Culture Secretary Lucy Fraser. He said, can't help but think they'd be pulling out all the stops to be there if it was England's men's side. William and other members of the royal family are expected to gather at Balmoral over the next few weeks. The King, who has been at the Castle of May and then Burkhall.